Y'all, it's like my edges caught COVID. And then they quarantined and social distancing. And y'all, they haven't been back since. Hey y'all. So I haven't done one of these in like a really long time where I kind of just talk to y'all while I'm doing my makeup. I haven't even filmed in a long time. So outside of the one I posted recently where I wasn't talking, I haven't really did one where I was talking. So I was like, I kind of miss my makeup video. So I wanted to do one today. I'm not doing anything. I gotta go pick up my son in like an hour and a half. Now I'm not gonna do like a full glam because this is gonna be more so an everyday makeup look. Not saying that I do this every day because I don't wear makeup every day, but for people that do wear makeup every day, this will be a look for them. Even though this will be like more of an everyday makeup look, y'all know when I do my makeup, it has to be full face, like the whole face. So I've tried to do like light concealer and all that other stuff, but it's like, uh-uh. You get all of me or none. Like you're gonna get the full glam or you're gonna get none of it. This is gonna be a basic glam. Let's go for that. Y'all already know the eyebrows can be very tedious. So I do my eyebrows off camera because it just, I feel like if I do them on camera, they won't look identical. Like, and y'all know my eyebrows never be identical. Y'all, they be like fraternal twins. I'm just gonna take this uh, Juvia's Place Chocolates palette and take this color. That's gonna be like a base color. So we're just gonna put that all over the lid. Y'all just don't know how much I've been missing. YouTube, like, I wanted to wait until I got another house to start filming again so I can have my own space and everything, like my own film room and things like that because I don't have that. We're gonna take this brown color right here. I wanted to wait until we, I kinda got a new house and had more space and my own film room and everything before I kinda started filming, but I just been missing it so much. So with my vlog camera, I kinda just, you know, film now. So it's no setup or anything. It's really just very simple. So yeah, I'm just literally putting this on the side because we're not doing full like eyeshadow or anything. It's not supposed to happen for the next two years because I wanted to wait until my daughter got out of the eighth grade and right now she's in seventh grade. So I was gonna start looking at houses next year. Not saying that I'm not, I, I still am. How the housing market is right now, like, I don't know. Cause what I'm not gonna do is spend a million dollars on a house because corporations wanna buy all the houses up and then upcharge the price for the houses. Y'all know I'm a ball on the budget. Like, Talea is not spending unnecessary money, especially on something that I know I can get for a cheaper price at a certain time. So I'm gonna prime my face with this milk primer. Yeah, I love this primer. This primer is life, but it works so well. So my go-to foundation right now is this Eau Maquillage. It's in the color 175. You know, since I wanted to vlog my experience with getting my lips done and me editing that video, it kind of just fueled me. Like, oh, I miss it so much. So I was like, I'm just gonna, you know, start filming. I've been on like a weight loss thing for like the longest, y'all know. Especially if you've been following me since my Cali days of me kinda just doing that, you know, watch me shrink journey. Let's just say that I haven't been as, as consistent as I need to be for a prolonged period of time because I'll start and then I'll stop and I'll start and I'll stop and I'll do that for the longest. So in September last year, y'all, I got a personal trainer, one of the best personal trainers in Atlanta. On Instagram, he go by the king of fitness. So I started seeing a lot of his clients. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna go check it out and go work out with him. And y'all, when it comes to losing weight, it's not like it's the hardest thing to do. Like working out isn't hard. The hardest thing is consistency and discipline. Like staying consistent and disciplining yourself every single day, that's the hardest part. Y'all, I was going, working out, and it was hard. I'm not gonna lie, it was really hard. But I wasn't eating healthy, so it's like, in a sense, I kinda literally wasted my money because what I weighed starting is what I weighed leaving. And I only did it for a month, 
because after that month, it kind of made me realize I can do this on my own. Yeah, that was a NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Chestnut Medium Dark. So now we're just gonna blend that out with this beauty blender. But what it made me realize going to him was I can do it by myself. So I decided to do these programs on Beachbody called um, Muscle Burns Fat and 21 Day Fix. Now both of those are strength training workouts. So it's not like you're doing all cardio. Starting October 1st, I really was paying attention to what I ate, even as far as like being consistent with working out because I hadn't really lost weight. No matter what I did, it's like I was not losing weight. Oh, and I also bought this book called um, My Superhero Nutrition. That book basically details what you can do to kind of lose weight. That was the only time I really started to like see the weight loss. So for October, I think I lost about 15 pounds. So after losing the 15 pounds for that month in November, I still was following the meal plan, doing everything I was supposed to do. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, foundation stick in the color Cool Earth. All together in that first, you know, I want to say that first month and a half, two months, I lost about 20 pounds and it felt so good. I started out at like 205. No matter what I was doing, I could not get out of the 190s. But reading that book and following that book, y'all, it took me literally two weeks to get out of the 190s. I lost 10 pounds in two weeks. It made me feel so proud of myself to kind of see 180s on the scale. Not saying that's still not big, because 180 for my my height, which is 5'3. Well, I'm I guess I'm 5'2 really, but yeah, I say 5'3. Even though being in the 180s at 5'3 is still very big according to, you know, what you're supposed to be. The weight that the doctors say I'm supposed to be, and the reason why I do doctors, is because Talia would never get that size like that. I would be bulimic. But for my height, I want to say my healthy weight was is supposed to be around 130. I don't even want to be 130. Like, that's extremely small. I've been using Laura Mercier. This is Translucent Honey. When she came out with this one for Colored Girls, I've been using this ever since. And it's amazing, y'all. It was worth every penny. I want to say this shit cost me like $53. It was worth every penny every dime spent. So I'm just gonna set right now. My goal weight, I would say between 150, 160, and that's all muscle. Like not all muscle, cause I'm not trying to look like I do bodybuilding. I still want a woman's size. I just want less body fat and more muscle mass. So then for Christmas last year, I told my boyfriend I wanted 25 and 30 pound weights. So that's how serious I was. For Christmas, I wanted weights. I made like small goals for myself. You know, like my first goal was to get to one to the 180s. So once I got there, it literally was like, I was like, if it took me no time to get to the 180s, it shouldn't take me no time to get to the 170s. It shouldn't. Did it? Yes. And I got down to 181. So by that next week, I was down to 179. And I hadn't been 179 in years. I watched that show, My 300 Pound Life. When people be like, oh, I haven't been this way in 10 years or five years. I'm just like, how you haven't been at that weight in years? Like, you just been gaining? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like just constantly gaining. This is a, the Sephora Micro Smooth. Y'all, honestly, I wanna say this was December. Since then, I've been up and down, up and down, up and down. 180s, between 183 to one, I wanna say my lowest have been 175. For the month of January, I told myself, by February 1st, I wanna get to 170. This is the ColourPop Contour Powder. I don't even know, I think this is called Rodeo, if I'm not mistaken, so. January, I kind of was just, I'm not gonna say fucking off, but I was basically fucking off. Like, I would be consistent for a few days, fall off. So even with the program that I was doing, the 21 day fix and the muscle burns fat, that's a 21 day program, y'all. And I have yet to complete that program. If I miss like four or five days, I just start over. Like say you're on day eight, you can't miss five days and go to day nine. Like it just, it doesn't work like that. Not saying it can't because you, yeah, if you want to, you could. But I, I didn't want to do that. So every time 
I would take like a four or five day, even two weeks sometimes. Cause sometimes y'all, I'm telling you, it will be like a two week hiatus where I ate what I wanted to the whole entire two weeks. Weight loss is definitely, it's all mental. All of it is mental. If you're not mentally prepared to do it, it's not, you're not gonna do it. I jumped back into it strictly for the month of February and I've been doing pretty good. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I did my lashes, my mascara, and um, my eyeliner off camera. Yeah, this is not an everyday makeup look. When people do everyday makeup and they have these things, you know, they post the videos or whatever, and they doing all this, this is not everyday makeup. Like, everyday makeup to me would be a little bit of concealer, some lip gloss, and you doing your eyebrows. I don't know how to do no everyday makeup. Like, my everyday makeup would be a full beat. I don't feel like everyday makeup is putting on lashes. So this highlighter that I'm using is from Maybelline. So the face is done. So let's get into this hair. I would normally just braid my hair and pop on a wig, but my boyfriend is over the braids and the wigs. So he wanted a ponytail. So that's why I just washed my hair yesterday, deep conditioned it and all that other good stuff. So let's take these out and just do a ponytail cause he seems to like the ponytail and I hate the ponytail. But yeah, I've been doing alternate day fasting. This is my second week, cause I started February 1st. So today will be a fast day for me. I haven't eaten today. I just took my vitamins. I'll probably have a cup of tea later. I have to tell myself all the time, like to lay out. You have to, you know, be more patient with yourself. So I'm just trying to take it one day at a time, y'all, and appreciate every pound lost. So I'm gonna spray my hair with water just to loosen it up it looked like my head is super big and i have no edges like y'all see that after having my son and covid hidden my edges disappeared so now we're just taking gel and this is at the green eco styling gel and we're just putting it on the base of the hair y'all should know how to do a ponytail y'all know this is our go-to when we don't want to do our hair so now i'm gonna just brush it back it's at my edges is quarantining <laughs> they social distancing and they haven't been back since y'all it's like my edge is caught covid that's why i try not to do like lace front wigs and stuff like that anymore just to protect the edges that i do have but y'all when i get done you won't even be able to tell let's just separate this some like fluff it out some because it's giving me i forgot that guy from the simpsons okay now we're gonna lay my edges my battery about to die, so I'm gonna charge the battery a little bit and I'll come back and show y'all the finishing results of the look and everything, y'all. Y'all see my edges? They look pretty good for me to not have any, right? <laughs> I guess when it get March 1st, I'll upload my fat to fit video for my weight, my weight loss and everything. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come pop in talk to y'all a bit while I do my makeup like I used to. I also want to tell you guys, you know, like if any of y'all is on a weight loss journey or y'all want to lose weight or trying to lose weight, y'all take it every day at a time. And y'all, it's easier said than done because I'm still struggling. But I'm very proud of the progress that I've made because I, wa I watched the video a while ago and I'm going to put like a little clip in. Like this hoodie is like three sizes too small. At one time it did fit, but yeah, life happened. Snacks happened, um, a lot of snacks happened. <laughs> so let's just talk about it. And I was so much bigger. You can see it all like here. Just take it every day at a time. Even if you fuck up and you eat some you shouldn't, just, you know, be like, okay, I ate that, it was good. And I'm gonna get right back into it. So some days won't be as good as others, and some days will be better than others. Don't don't beat yourself up about it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe link, comment, like, all the good stuff. Let me know what y'all think. Yeah, so I'll see y'all on my next one. Bye y'all.